What's up guys? Uh, my name is UGX Terminator and today I have some really exciting news for you. Um, the Black Ops 3 Mod Tools uh, Alpha has gone public into beta. So that means that anyone can now download the Mod Tools and play with them on their own computer, make your own maps, play other people's maps. It basically, basically means that everything is now public. Um, the Mod Tools aren't finished, they're still in beta. And we're really hoping that it doesn't turn out to be like an eternal beta like we had with Black Ops 1. But regardless, this is, you know, great news. Um, I want to show you guys how you can get the tools and also um, some resources that we offer you so that you can learn how to use the tools um, and kind of just get started with them. Um, you have to own Black Ops 3 on Steam. Um, so you have, to, you have to buy it if you don't already have it. Um, and once you own Black Ops 3, you can go to your library tab and go to tools and you'll see you have all these tools that come with games that you may have in your library but right here is the one you want, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. So you're going to want to uh, download that and once it's done downloading you can right click it and hit play game and when it launches um, you'll end up with uh, Black Ops 3 Mods Launcher and from there you can load Radiant, um, the uh, asset editor, you can publish your maps to the Steam Workshop, you can do all the stuff you want to do there. So that's how you get the tools. Now um, as far as how to use them, we have a, uh, we have a YouTube channel which you're already on <laughs> if you're watching this video, but if you're watching it uh, embedded somewhere else our YouTube channel is uh, UGX Mods, and we do have a playlist of modding tutorials that we've been working on uh, where you can get a quick introduction to the launcher, uh, a quick intro to Radiant, uh, how to make prefabs, how to do terrain patch detailing. Um, big thanks to Jaybird who's been working on those. Uh, really a lot, of the, a lot of the concepts that you know from World of War are still going to apply to Black Ops 3, sorry about that. Um, it's just the, all the interfaces are different now and the biggest difference is you have more features uh, like there's more stuff you can do lighting is way more advanced now for mapping uh, radiant is way more advanced you can do a lot more stuff so definitely check out these, tu these tutorials even if you think you you know know everything there is to know about world of war you don't know everything there is to know about black ops 3 yet so um, that's your first resource your second resource if you go on our website you can click modding help and go to the modding wiki um, and from there you will be taken to our wiki hub where we have both world at war and black ops 3 guides but what you're going to want to focus on right here is the top half black ops 3 mod tools uh, where you'll see all of the uh, tutorials that we currently have to offer there's um, an explanation of a lot of different things to do with importing models um, we don't currently have any advanced mapping stuff on there yet um, we have some scripting tutorials. A lot of people will hopefully find that helpful. If you knew anything about World of War scripting, there's this page here um, that you can visit that's kind of a rundown of everything that's been changed since World of War to Black Ops 3. So that should help you out. Um, and then next on our website, we also have a new Black Ops 3 forum section if you haven't already seen it. Um, it's right here above World at War. We have uh, a section where people can uh, release the, our content. Um, this is a really cool section to check out if you haven't been here. We have a work in progress section and that's where people can post about maps and mods uh, that they're currently working on and people will post like status updates and new pictures and sometimes they'll ask the community for advice on what features to add and stuff. So um, you can see we've already got a few here now that the mod tools are public. Uh, UGX also currently has, uh, like the UGX team, including me, has a uh, work in progress thread here for a remaster of UGX Christmas, uh, which you guys should definitely check out if you haven't yet. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, if you, I don't know, God, it's been probably four years now. I'm, I'm not sure. It's been a long time since this map came, came out originally for World of War, and um, if you remember, it was the first map to ever feature UGX mod, a very early version of it. Um, so what we're doing is we're bringing it back for World at War, I mean, sorry, for uh, Black Ops 3, and we're adding a lot of new f uh, areas to it and making it look a lot better since we have the new Radiant and everything. 
um, and hopefully it will, when it's ready, it will have some sort of playable beta version of UGX mod in Black Ops 3. Uh, one thing that we were that we've been waiting a while for to make UGX mod possible is Treyarch hadn't given us any zombie scripts, uh, like zombie mode scripts that we didn't have access to the zombie spawning, the round zombie rounds, uh, the perks, the power ups, anything like that's all really important stuff for UGX mod to work. Um, and they finally dropped a lot of those scripts today. I personally have not had time to look at them other than I see yes they're there. Uh, so hopefully. Really, the only thing left that, that's going to be a serious fucking problem for us is the fact that they still haven't given us any way of making um, menus. They have made it really clear to us when we keep asking them that they don't really want to release the menu files for anyone to be able to edit, and that's really depressing, to be honest, because menus made a lot of cool stuff possible in World of War. Um, but we'll figure something out. There's always a way to make it work. Um, even if it's a crude method, we'll get something so that you can like choose your game mode and all that stuff so um, definitely check out the work in progress section on UGX there's a lot of cool stuff here um, this map by Stevie Wonder uh, is really fucking good the, these screenshots are incredible um, really shows you what's possible with just the limited amount of textures that they've given us so far in Black Ops 3 um, so other than that, uh, we definitely want to release more uh, tutorials as we go for Black Ops 3, um, definitely more videos as we can, but we really want to fill out this wiki. Uh, it's been tough because there's a lot of stuff that we know about uh, Black Ops 3 that we can't say yet because the only reason we know it is because Treyarch told us in the private uh, alpha testers website that they gave us and uh, we're all still under NDA so we can't talk about what's in there so until they post some of the stuff publicly we can't we can't repost it so um, hopefully they said they were gonna release some documentation soon um, so I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of the stuff that they kept private to us is gonna be in that documentation hopefully and once they post that publicly we can then post our own version of it on our site so definitely stay tuned. Um, I will plan. I do plan on making more videos about UGX Christmas once I've made more progress with that, like showing you some in-game video and stuff. And uh, Jaybird was helping me, so hopefully he can. Uh, he's been super busy, but hopefully he can find some time to help out too with that project because um, he knows a lot more about Radiant than I do. So, anyways, stay tuned, guys. See you later.